it's the gear tester here and in this video I'm going to go over the ways I maintain my Grand Force Brooks axe and my Grand Force Brooks hatchet here and other tools that have wooden handles and metal heads that need to be uh, taken care of, that need to be protected and uh, maintained. So one of the first things you want to do when you get back uh, and you're preparing to maintain uh, and care for your tools is to make sure to look at how much wear and damage they might have received. If you look carefully there, right where my finger is, there's a little, uh, not a chip, but I, I bent the blade a little bit there. I must have been uh, chopping and must have struck a little piece of rock or uh, some other debris uh, on a log that I was chopping on a recent uh, camping trip. So that's what happened there. So I've sharpened my blade. And that's one of the first things I do is sharpening or maintaining that blade. And the way I do that is I use a combination of stones. This is the way I'm doing it right now. This might change. This is actually a little uh, desk stone that I got for about 50 cents. It's a very fine stone. And I'm not trying to remove large amounts of material. I'm just trying to maintain that edge. I'm not trying to reprofile the edge. I'm just maintaining the edge right now. So I use uh, the stone uh, and I do that with a wet stone do that carefully. I've got other stones but I'm using that one here today and then I transition to uh, sandpaper and I just wrap that sandpaper over a stick a little piece of wood and I mark the uh, grain there and then I just maintain uh, the edge carefully like so and I'm, I'm not wanting I'm wanting to minimize the amount of material I remove by in and increase or maximize the amount of sharpening potential I get and this was not shaving sharp once it got back from the last expedition it was on. But you can see there now that I have been able, with just careful use of the sandpaper, it is now shaving sharp once again. So once I've uh, sharpened the, the blade there, I checked it and then sharpened it, the next thing I want to do is protect that metal. And we'll show you that here. I just take some WD-40. And I just spray WD-40 on it and wipe off the excess. That maintains the, uh, the head there. Let me just, uh, just let me give a little clarification on the way I'm using the sandpaper here. What I try to do is I try to find, let's see if I can do this just right here. I try and come to an edge of a, a desk or a table or something and I just hold it down like so and then I actually use the piece of sandpaper and I actually try and maintain the same exact angle, but this allows me, instead of having the sharp object moving around, I'm moving the sharpening tool around, and that minimizes danger to me, and I think it maximizes my time and allows me to be more precise with my sharpening of the tool. So that's how I do that there. And once I have got it to the point, to the sharpness I want, uh, then I'm going to put the WD-40 on it. Uh, just a little repetition there. And then I'm going to care for the handle because I've got wood handles here. And so the way I maintain the wooden handles is I, I using here, I'm using here uh, some boiled linseed oil, and I just get that on a rag or a piece of paper towel or newspaper or something. And just get a nice amount. And this this is kind of a process of time. Then I'm just going to wipe down the wood being careful to not, of course, not cut myself. So I wipe down the wood and I try and do this two or three times, giving it a couple minutes in between for the boiled linseed oil to soak into the handle. And then after I've gotten it really, really saturated there, I just leave it like that. And I try and leave it like that overnight. And then I come back and uh, maybe I do it again if I feel it really needs it. And then I once again, make sure to care for the head. The bladed portion, I put some WD-40 back on that and wipe the excess off. Then I put it back into its uh, protective blade. Cover. So that's how I maintain a, a wooden handle tool. I do the same thing with a, a tool like this, Fishker's X7 hatchet. I maintain the blade the same way. I care for the blade the same way with the WD-40. The handle, of course, doesn't need maintenance because it's polymer. So. There you go. I hope this was helpful. It gives you guys some ideas on how to maintain your tools, how to care for them. Uh, it's not hard. It's not difficult. It takes some trial and error, and that is perfectly fine to do trial and error and make sure that you learn how to do this. 
owning tools like this that need some maintenance and need some time and care is not a problem. It takes actually very little time and effort to maintain them, but it's good to know how to do it, how to care for them and increase their life and increase their usefulness. Thank you very much for your views and your subscriptions. My goal here at the Gear Tester YouTube channel is to make quality video reviews on the topics of shooting, camping, and survival gear. This is the Gear Tester signing off.